Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to create an offer, send it to a motivated seller, all from your cell phone in less than three minutes. That's right, less than three minutes, generate an offer, send it to a seller via email from your email address to their email address with the offer attached right in the email. Guys, this is gonna be something that you can do in under three minutes. And I have personally used this contract that I'm sharing with you guys for free to wholesale over 400 houses. All right, I've probably done about 600 wholesales, but this specific contract that I'm giving away for free that you can use, personally, I've done about 400 deals with it. So, you know, I would say that it works, right? Check it out. Three minutes or less, cashoffercontract.com. I'm gonna give you guys a quick demo. If you're not using it, start, it's free, no strings attached. Let's jump right on in. All right, guys, we're gonna jump right on in. This is so incredibly simple. We're gonna go type in cashoffercontract.com, okay? Go ahead and click that. It's gonna forward you over to my website, discountpropertyinvestor.com forward slash contract dash generator. I don't really like that URL, so we're just gonna use cashoffercontract.com and it's gonna send you to this cash offer generator, all right? This is a web form and it's gonna take about three minutes to fill this out. This is an incredible tool, it's free, and I want everybody to start using it. I have literally done 400 deals using this right here. It's so simple. So what we're going to do is we're literally going to fill in the fields. What's going to happen in the background when we click submit is it's going to mail merge these fields into the contract that I use. So if you're looking for a contract, this is what you're going to want to use right here. So let's go ahead and fill this out real quick, guys. It's so simple. Click the date. Today's date it is the new year. Happy new year, everybody. Oop, that's not the right date. One, one, it's not the right date. I'm clicking the wrong thing. Here it is. It's right there. Okay, one, one, 20, 21. Your name's gonna go here, guys. I'm gonna select David Dodge. So you're gonna put your own name in there. Next, you're gonna put your phone number right there. So we're gonna use, uh, actually, we can use this one here. This is my work phone, no big deal. Okay, right here is your email address, right? So we're gonna use my work email address on this one. Next is your company name. I'm the discount property investor. It's one of my companies. You're going to want to put your name in there. So again, this is your name, your phone, your email, and your company name. And if you don't have a company, don't sweat it. Don't let it bother you. Instead, just use your name for the company. Now, the reason we're adding this is because this is going to generate a contract, but it's also going to send an email. And we want that email to have a signature area. So that's how we want that information. Next is your mailing address. We're going to add in your mailing address. So I'm gonna use my business, 1750 South Brentwood Mo. Oh, South Brentwood, St. Louis Mo, 63144. Now again, you're gonna to wanna to put your own mailing address in there, guys. Put your information in this, not mine. Seller's name, right? So I'm just gonna use seller's name in this example because this is an example. Seller's email address, right? So in this case, I'm gonna use my own email again, but you're gonna wanna put in the seller's email, right? Joe, Jane, Doe, whatever their name is and whatnot. Figure out the email so you can send them a cash offer. Next is gonna be the seller's property address, right? One, two, three, Main Street. And we're just gonna do STL Mo 63111, all right? So figure out the seller's property address. Next is the seller's mailing address. Now we typically wanna have our mailing address, which you can see in the middle here. And then we also wanna have the seller's mailing address. And the reason is, is this gonna populate the contract, but it's also gonna help the title company or the closing attorney later to, to be able to track you down to where they can get you these these docs that have been uh, recorded or signed, so on and so forth. So again, you're gonna wanna put in their mailing address here. If you don't know the mailing address, you can just type in the same address that you used above that you're actually trying to buy, right? This is an offer generator to, uh, to buy properties, right? So 123 Main Street, I forgot the street, there we go, boom. STL Mo 63111, okay? So seller's email, seller's property address, seller's mailing address, 
Next is our cash offer amount. So let's say that we wanted to offer 125,000. Now don't use any periods or commas. You don't need to add the cents, just type in the numbers, keep it simple. So in this case, we're gonna do 125,000 on this example offer, okay? Earnest money, I typically put, put up 10 bucks, guys. There's no, really no reason to put in a whole bunch unless they request it. Again, no periods, no commas, keep it simple. Inspection period days, I standardize mine at 15 business. Now here is a golden nugget, guys. If you are new to the game and you are gonna get an inspection period, which you always should, add the word business. Now you'll notice that it says do not use days. It's already in our template. Uh, if you add days, it's just gonna have days twice. But the reason that I always add business is because it buys you 40% more time, right? That is a huge amount of time. 10 days is 10 days. We all can do math, but 10 business days is 14 days, guys. 10 to 14 is 40% more time. So one gold nugget, always add the word business to your inspection periods. Acceptance deadline, okay? I'm gonna put that out, you know, five days, give or take, because you don't want this offer to be valid forever. Excluding items, you can see here in the example, washers and dryers, appliances, maybe a swing set, it could be a chandelier that they want. So type it in, right? If you don't have anything, put a period there, or put, a, or put a, an underscore, right? Either way, all of these fields are mandatory. This will not work if everything doesn't have something in it. So if you don't have anything there, put a period. Closing date, when would you like to close this? We're just gonna put uh, the end of this month, 131, 2021, and our closing costs will be paid by the buyer, or you could put by the seller, or you could put by each party respectively. That's that simple. Do not overthink this. Simple, simple, simple. Last but not least, guys, you can do this in under three minutes is the additional terms and conditions, okay? So up above, if we scroll up just a hair, we have our excluding items. Additional terms and conditions is basically anything that you wanna include or you wanna very, you know, very specifically highlight. So I usually will just say something along the lines of subject to partners approval, right? Keep it simple, right? That's four words. You could put subject to sewer inspection, subject to final walkthrough. Now this contract also has a lot of CYAs that are built into it as well, but I typically like to just add that. That's it. Look at this. This is so incredibly simple. Now I got seller's name in there. Here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to include my, I'm going to change this real quick and I'm going to send this to Mike Slane, my partner, all right? And I'm actually going to change the email to Mike as well. And the reason is Mike at house sold easy.com because I want to show you guys how awesome this is because it's going to send this contract to Mike, but it's going to come from my email right here at David, David at house sold easy. So it's going to send it to Mike, but it's going to come from David and it's going to CC me. Why is that important? Because if I get the email, they get the email. And guess what? If they want to respond to the email that's sent, it's going to go to you, the person sending it, not to me. All right. So this is going to make it appear as if it's coming from your own email. What is this thing asking me here? It's saying cars. So I got to collect the cars. This is to make sure that I'm not a robot. No big deal. And then boom, what we're going to do is we're going to click submit and you're going to see your offer has been sent. It was sent to the seller from your email address and you have been CC'd on that email. Now let's head on over to our email and let's check this out. It's gonna take probably between 60 and 90 seconds to generate that offer in the background and then send it to your seller. Again, this is cashoffercontract.com, free tool, check it out. You would be a fool to use something else because this is free, it's simple, and it takes less than three minutes to send an offer from your cell phone. All right, this is what it sent, guys. It took about 60 seconds to generate this offer and send it. So it says purchase agreement in the subject at the very top, 123 Main Street, STL Mo 63111. That's what I put in at the property address, okay? Now notice that there is a PDF attached to this email. And then if I click up here, it says, it says from David at house sold easy, right? 
to Mike at House Sold Easy and it CC'd me. That's why I was able to get this email. So as long as all the email addresses are correct and you get the email, they got the email. If I wanted to go and I wanted to respond to this email, or let's say that Mike did, because Mike's the one that's gonna be getting this offer, he's the seller in this scenario, he would be responding to me because I'm the one that sent it. So if you're the one that sent it and you use your email and somebody responds to it, they're gonna get that response sent to you. Very, very powerful. You'll notice that this email has a little bit of text in here. Just saying, dear Mike Slane, please see the attached offer from Discount Property Investor to purchase your property. That's the company name. So yours is gonna be mail merged in there. If it's cash for keys or whatever the number, I'm sorry, whatever the uh, entity that you're using is gonna be put right there. If it's a name, then your name's gonna go right there. Next, it says, we buy tons of houses each month. We typically pay all cash, close fast, and we will buy the property as is. Please let us know if you have any questions about our offer, we look forward to hearing back from you soon. Thank you. And then your name's going to go there. Your company's going to go there. Your number's going to go there. That's my work phone. And right there is going to be your email, right? Because it's going to basically mail merge in the signature area of this. So this is completely customizable to each individual person that decides to use it. Okay. Now you're going to notice here that we are going to have a contract attached to this email. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And this is the agreement that is sent. It's basically, it's three pages, but the last page is just a signature area. So it's basically a two page agreement. Again, I have used this contract over 400 times to buy and wholesale houses. Guys, you can use it too. It's free. Okay. Now I'm not going to go through this contract line by line, go check it out. And you can, you know, send a test email to yourself or to your girlfriend or your brother or your spouse or whoever, I don't know, it doesn't really matter to see how amazing this tool is. It mail merges in the date, the name, the address of the property, the company. Uh, it puts in the purchase price, the buyer's due consideration or the earnest money, the acceptance period. Uh, it talks a little bit about the earnest money and the inspection. It has the closing cost information. Uh, when the closing will take place, access legal, lead-based paint, additional terms and conditions, which you can see is subject to buyer's or partner's approval. And then it's going to go ahead and just use a signature font for your name. It's going to print your name next to member of your entity with the date. And it leaves a blank for the seller to sign date and send. Okay. This tool is amazing. Go check it out right away cashoffercontract.com and happy new year everybody let's crush this new year 2021 is going to be amazing and this tool is going to help you send offers from your phone in under three minutes